$1.6 billion remains in Biden's proposal for historic workforce allocations, and experts believe that COVID vaccine mandate will survive legal challenges. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. Long-term care providers would get a more than $1 billion boost to help with workforce struggles under the most recent version of President Joe Biden's Build Back Better Act. An updated version of the legislation from the U.S. House includes $1.6 billion for workforce training grants that would be available to all long-term care providers from fiscal years 2023 through 2026, according to Leading Age Analysis. About $415 million in grant funding would specifically be for nursing homes, the bill also includes $1 billion for direct care workforce competitive grants to help recruit, train, and retain direct care workers, and an $150 billion to expand the home and community-based workforce. The Biden administration is confident that legal challenges to its COVID-19 vaccine mandate for healthcare workers will ultimately fail and legal experts are largely in agreement. As a result, they are urging providers to waste no time coming into compliance with the regulation. Quote, there will undoubtedly be challenges in court, Frank Morris with New York-based law firm Epstein, Becker & Green, PC, told Bloomberg Law this week. But there is not, quote, any great likelihood that those challenges would be successful. Morris encouraged facilities to move forward with becoming compliant with the CMS interim final rule while they await more guidance. His comments came after a White House spokeswoman on Friday said the administration is, quote, very confident that the rule can withstand any legal challenges. Quote, they would be in a very poor position if they don't start to move forward with compliance activities, he added. Multiple lawsuits challenging OSHA's authority on vaccines have been filed by Monday in the U.S. Courts of Appeals for the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 11th circuits. Judges in the Fifth Circuit covering the districts of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas granted a stay of enforcement and implementation of the OSHA rule. The federal government and parties challenging the rule were both expected to submit briefs to that court by Tuesday night. If there is a conflict in the Circuit Courts of Appeals, experts say there may need to be reason for the U.S. Supreme Court to jump in and make a determination at some point. In the meantime, providers should expect enough rulings on the OSHA rule over the next several weeks. The bottom line, however, is that non-healthcare employers must remain prepared to enact the mandate or its test out option. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.